As we get started with our geometry unit, I want to show you another one of my favorite books. This is called The Greedy Triangle, and it's written by Marilyn Burns. Marilyn Burns is a big deal in math education. Um, you can look her up. She's written many, many, many great uh, books for children and for teachers. So take a look at her for sure. That's one to write down. Um, and let me show you The Greedy Triangle. The Greedy Triangle. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. The triangle spent its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in a symphony orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. The triangle's favorite thing, however, was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell my friends. Do you see the triangles there in their arms? The thing I like about this book too is you could even have the students do a triangle hunt beforehand and write down all the places they think they might see triangles or maybe around the classroom, around the school where they might see triangles, um, and it goes right with the book as well. The triangle's friends liked hearing the news. One day, the triangle began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the triangle went to see the local shapeshifter. How may I help you? The shapeshifter asked the triangle. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the triangle, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the triangle into a... And this is a point where I'd pause and say, if we add one more angle and one more side to the triangle, what shape would I have? You might be thinking a square or maybe even a rectangle, those are all called, starts with a Q, a quadrilateral, that's right. Life changed in a wonderful way. The quadrilateral was happy with all the new things it could do. The quadrilateral could be a baseball diamond, or first, second, or third base. It could take a position on a checkerboard or a chessboard. It could be a television screen, a computer screen, or a movie screen. It could frame windows or frame pictures and much, much more. Quadrilateral's favorite thing, however, was to be the pages of a book. I learned so many interesting stories that way, it said, which I can tell my friends. The quadrilateral's friends liked hearing the stories. But one day, the quadrilateral began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the quadrilateral went back to the shapeshifter. How may I help you now? The shapeshifter asked the quadrilateral. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the quadrilateral, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the quadrilateral into a pentagon. That's right. So then we keep going. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. Obviously, um, his life changes in a wonderful way, and it lists all the things that he can do as a pentagon. And then what do you think happens after a while? He becomes dissatisfied. And so then he gets turned into, if we had five sides and five angles, and now we have six sides and six angles, what shape would that be? A hexagon, nice job. So then he's a hexagon and life changes in a wonderful way. His favorite thing to do is be a cell on a beehive. And then he becomes restless again and the shapeshifter keeps um, adding sides and angles. And so you can see he becomes a heptagon, an octagon, an onagon, a decagon, and on and on. And finally, he has so many sides and so many angles that basically he starts rolling down a hill and he rolls faster and faster and faster and he comes to a stop and feels tired, dizzy, and lonely and sad. And he goes back to the shapeshifter and says, turn me back into a triangle. So he does. And then he's delighted to have his old shape back again and keeps himself very busy. And again, you can see all the different ways that a triangle is used. Still, the triangle's favorite thing was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way, I always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell my friends. Its friends liked hearing the news and were glad the triangle was back in shape again. I really like at the end of this book, it also gives some notes for parents and teachers about how you could use it and some ideas, as well as just to make sure you know all of the names of um, the shapes with all the different sides, so it lists those as well. Really cute story um, that you can use for dealing with um, 
not just math, but also social things. So I think it's interesting that he feels dissatisfied. So the idea of being content, what does that mean? It opens that conversation. Um, him wanting to be liked by his friends, you know, children often have that as well. So um, great book to not only talk about math, but also bring in some social skills for that one. That is The Greedy Triangle by Marilyn Burns.